Assalamu alaikum ya Sayyidi Walaikum as wa rahmatullah Can you please explain more about the ring of Sayyidina Sulaiman alayhi salam and anything about the secret of barakah of Ahlul Bayt with the ring? Hmm? <laughs> I think you guys are rigged that one. <laughs> That's from Yahya probably. <laughs> <laughs> what was that again? <laughs> uh, can you please explain more about the ring of Sayyidina Sulaiman and oh. the thing about the secret of Baraka uh, of Ahlul Bayt with the ring? With the ring? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about that but we know that the secret of the ring of Sayyidina Sulaiman salam was a gift from Sayyidina Muhammad and that's why we call it on the store Majestic Sunnah. So anything the shaykh is involved in there must be a secret within it. So when the shaykh is, is, has a place where you can get rings, you have to get a ring because it comes with a secret, it comes with a majestic barakah, it comes with an immense revival. Imagine reviving the sunnah of Sayyidina Muhammad that every time you revive the sunnah not only you're given the reward of 70 martyr that Allah will write for somebody who revives the sunnah and the way of Sayyidina Muhammad but the turuqs means that they're asking, the shaykhs are asking, Ya, Ra, ya Sayyidi Ya Rasulul Kareem as you gave to Sayyidina Sulaiman at least give to your, your nation who love you from that power and that might. We may not need it now but a day will come in which Prophet will activate that sunnah. And the ring that they carry will cause fear and panic within the heart of shayateen. Umrah day coming soon, inshaAllah. So all the, the majestic sunnah of Prophet is going to be lit up and that's why you watch these like fantasy shows and all this is about to come and that's why Allah is giving to them. Imagine the asa of, of the, the sunnah of Prophet that if Nabi Musa had a dragon, imagine the dragons that are following the Ahlul Bayt and the lovers of Sayyidina Muhammad that's why you teach, you teach how much Allah loves Prophet then imagine how much more He's giving to that nation. That those were Prophets had to get that. But you as a lover you'll inherit that. So that's the hadith, Wali Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Anbiya. You'll inherit what they got. They were Prophets and high rank special gifts but because you're under the Ummat al-Muhammad I will make your asa like the staff of Nabi Musa that a dragon will accompany behind you, not only in your cane just walking behind you as a guardian over where you walk upon this earth. And this majestic sunnah and the greatness and majesty of Allah and what He's bestowed upon Sayyidina Muhammad is not known until the person takes their last, last breath. But it will be to the nation who lives on the, the last nation on this earth because of the calamities and the difficulties and all that are coming upon the earth. Allah inshaAllah open all of the realities of the Holy Sunnah, what the power of a siwak will be, what the power of their asah will be, what the power of their hat and everything that they put upon themselves, the power of hijab, power of all these realities. People think that if they wear these things all people will come after them, no, no it's, it's the opposite. The light that shines from it will scare the shayateen from people, inshaAllah. As alaykum Sayyidi Walaykum as salaam uh, To honor Mawlana Shah Naqshaban, mm -hmm. what can we do, what can we do on this holy day for Shah Whatever you see us doing, right? So we took the, the post that has Mawlana Shah Naqshaban's picture, the article from the Nur Muhammad website, the audio book from Nur Muhammad website and post it everywhere, propagate. Propagate and post because you don't know it's like Allah for fishing. You send out ten lines and Allah wanted to catch one of them but wanted you to receive the barakah of that one being caught. So you post it ten times and somebody clicked on it, so, oh this is amazing, I never know who's this man, who's this face of this man, I want to read about this and they come towards guidance because they're not going to get wahi. You're not all going to give a, a prophecy to somebody. So it comes from ourselves. We have to act and Allah comes 99 steps. So when the students are not acting, 
then they're, they're missing out on all these barakah and all these blessings. So the immense blessings of the jama'ah in Pakistan, amazing. Every day for Ashura feeding yateems. So this, that was amazing. They, they're acting, Prophet watching, praying, blessing and everybody benefiting because we're all a part of the, the same entity. So they're active and we're all being blessed by it. The jama'ah in Los Angeles, Asim is active giving food, giving thing and mashaAllah here Omar and the group that are giving out, Hayat giving out. So that's all it takes. And we've said many times our video production guys, the guys who are running the center here, everybody when they participate it's a, it's a huge operation. Because everybody's participating, everybody's doing something, it's not one, one shaykh sitting there. The shaykh is the, is the conductor that hopefully tries to inspire people to rise to their best. If the shaykh is good, he'll inspire people. If the shaykh feels that he's entitled, because you know the shaykh is like a shepherd, he has to walk behind and inspire people, come, come, let's go, let's go, let's go. And if they do it right, people are inspired. You, you make me feel like I want to bring the best of me out and I want to conquer and do it. But if you're entitled because you think that's you know you just got it, you inherited it, then you're just walking in front of you, you don't care anyone behind you before you know it you look there's nobody behind you. It's not an entitlement, the way of prophecy and the inheritance of that the Prophets were the shepherds of Allah Means take your flock and watch out for them. So when your flock they need food, so where's your the knowledges, where's their wazifas, where's the awrads? If you don't give them the wazifa, the awrad and the teaching they're going to be eaten by the wolves of Muharram. Because Muharram will come, they'll be made heedless and they'll be in Las Vegas. So I didn't know this was a holy month, I didn't know this month started, I didn't know what I was supposed to write. So it's an obligation, it's not something you, you just you know, entitled to it. So it's about encouraging people to rise and to do their best. And if you do your best, alhamdulillah we all succeed because then now South Africa came in and that individual very important, very big VIP and he said, ah, I saw you all over South Africa. Yeah, it's beautiful because a few people posting and you were putting on every type of chat forum and everything, alhamdulillah it works. If you do it, it works. And all our guys and all the, the beatific work and ladies that are doing all these things and everyone who's participating, alhamdulillah, that's what makes it to be active and, and everywhere. We pray that Allah give everybody more, bless them more, take away difficulties by virtue of their khidmat and to, to make everything to be under the nazar of Prophet grant them visions and gaze and tajallis of Sayyidina Muhammad and every beatific ocean and every difficulty to be taken away and pushed away. And that a happiness and a happy life and a good life here and hereafter. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzat amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Wa hurmati Muhammad al Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al Fatiha. Click the link now to subscribe.